my art, I celebrate life and I celebrate the beauty around me. I hope that uh, connection that I have with, with life which is deep and hopefully getting deeper on a spiritual level translates into my work. When you see the work in person, you see that the paint actually raises up from the canvas itself. She uses charcoal as well as acrylic. I work with acrylic textures. Now I work with gold leaf. I love gold. I think it has so much power. You cannot ignore gold. <laughs> the gold leaf is really quite unusual and she uses it in a way that is really quite stunning. It pulls one in. I like the symbolic nature of her work. Abstract form, but at the same time, she will incorporate an eye or the form of the female. Women are manifestations of fragility. The face can be so simple yet so complicated and it can say so much, reveal so much, yet conceal so much. I love exploring the mysteries of female beauty. I've been painting the figure for many years now. Um, and from the figure, from, from, from life, I have gone into the portrait where I'm trying to demystify or I'm trying to sort of solve my own questions that I pose to myself. Her spirit, I find, is one of a woman who has prevailed in her uh, desire to achieve what she has achieved in a country which is uh, quite difficult for many women. We all go through our struggles, our dilemmas, my own struggle between being an artist and a woman. Um, so I, I sort of, I think, um, I like to solve those issues, maybe, while, while I paint. I was awed by the power of uh, Ganesha's uh, image. Lord Ganesh is a Hindu god. In India, Ganesh is represented in a very realistic way. I think divinity is so abstract. I've approached it not in a definitive way. So I've, I, I hope people can see the Ganesh and I hope the form converges. During and after the exhibition, you can see the work on the Agora Gallery site as well as all year on art-mind.com.